Hi guys! Um, for those who don't know, um, welcome to my channel where I talk about my favourite TV show and movies. If that sounds like your kind of thing, please consider subscribing because I'm really trying to get to my first 1000. Hello, hello, hello my loves. Not gonna lie, the enthusiasm and engagement and the love I've been getting from since I posted the first unhinged and unserious um, ranking video has been so nice to see. Uh, it's motivated me to make this one now because I didn't think you guys actually want to see it but since you guys want to see it, I'm, I mean I'm down to make it. So yeah, let's get into... Um, <laughs> let's get into a deeply unserious, unhinged, unnecessary ranking of Disney Channel male characters TV exclusive DILF edition. Okay, I'll tell you what, why don't we say what we really think on the count of three? Ready? One, one two, two three. three! I think he's gonna be King Bozzy one day and I think we should get in now! Boy Meets World content is the first video I posted. It's what motivated me to start this channel. So we have to start with Corey Matthews. I hope you like prison food. OFFICER! <laughs> Going to jail immediately. Immediately. Behind bars, no questions asked. Point blank, period. Don't get me wrong, I liked Corey as a character in Boy Meets World. But him as a father in Gummy's world, to make it hard enough, I need to throw bricks at this nigga. To jail. To jail. I don't know, it's like he never grew up. It was when he was a kid, but you're a, you're a grown ass man with two kids. Act like it. He didn't grow up at all. If this was your crush, behind bars now. Gee, Cor, I thought you'd be more excited to see me. <gasps> yeah! Then we have Sean Hunter. Now you guys already know how I feel about this man. You already know. I love him! I, love I him. know I know him, y'all! I just, know just him! him. <laughs> just him! I know this man! He is the first father to mother. And even though he's not as cute as he was when he was younger, I'll be honest. I'll be honest, he's not. But I'm a ride for that man. I know that man. I love that man. I know him. Nothing else needs to be said. I will cook and I will clean all day, all night. I know this man. I love this man. Fritz. <laughs> Sweetie, you're an exterminator. Isn't the uh, point of your uniform to protect you from things that sting and bite? <laughs> hey, these cannons are my protection. <laughs> Now this one might be a bit controversial, but Bob Duncan, we gotta let him cook. We do. I'm sorry, we do. Don't lie. Don't lie. Um, earlier season, Bob, mm, I would have said I would have asked to log out kindly, but newer season, Bob, guys, come on, let him cook. Look at the material. Look at the material. He was. He did what needed to be done, and I'm here for it. Next we have Devon Carter, and I would most definitely cook and clean. I know in the previous video I said, um, I understood, but as a grown man, yes sir, I'm a cook, I'm a be in that kitchen cooking and cleaning, I mean look at, look at him, just look at him. Now this is a black king, this is a father, this is a man, I'm here for it. <laughs> this is a dad I'd like to, mm -mm. so most definitely cooking and cleaning for him. Chels, Chels, come here. He's about to do it. He's about to do it. <laughs> well, Raven, today's forecast calls for a high-pressure situation, but if I keep a cool front, mm -hmm. I'd say I have an 85 to 90% chance of blowing their minds. I don't care if we're divorced. That is hot. Big boobs? What? Um, ciao. Anyway, so... Yes, I do the cooking. Yes, I do the cleaning. No questions asked. Sticking with the That's a Raven, Raven's Home um, universe, we have Victor Baxter. Now, guys, <laughs> if you're here for him, in the most respectable, polite way possible, I'm gonna need to go ahead and log out. Yeah, go ahead and log out. I mean, don't get me wrong, he was a great father, and who doesn't like a chef? He's supportive and sweet, and a man that can cook can always get it, but let's be real, guys. He was given too much, Dad. <laughs> a little bit too much. 
I will respectably ask you to go ahead and log out for me, okay? Thank you. You know what that boy needs? A real girlfriend. Dad, that is the smartest thing you've ever said. You know what they say, every now and then even a blind pig snorts up a truffle. <laughs> Next, we have Billy Ray Stewart. This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. Because on one hand, that little thing under his lip, I don't know why it's there, but he got to go. And he was all that hillbilly cowboy business. I don't know, sometimes it didn't work. But sometimes it did. Sometimes you had a little something, something going on with the hair flicking back. I was like, mm, okay. Okay, Billy Ray, I see you. So if this was all you, I'll, I put my hand up and say I understand. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I wasn't personally there myself, maybe once or twice, but I get it. And I support you. Is there something I could do for you? Uh, yes, we'd like that one, please. You'd like to adopt a planet puss. Oh, is that what it is? Well, yes, may we have him, please? Okay. Um, next we have the dad from Phineas and Fab. <laughs> I'm, yes, I'm aware it's a cartoon. But for some, sexual awakening comes in all forms and we don't judge or discriminate here. This is a very, very safe space. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna let him cook. Now, for me personally, it wasn't my bag. But if that's you, yeah, yeah. Supportive and chill father, I get it. Yeah, cook all you want. Yeah, let him cook. Let him cook. Thin man spell. Justin Thin and a man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm just happy that someone made a weight joke and it wasn't about me. <laughs> okay, so next we have Jerry Russo. If you're on Twitter or you're chronically online like me, you know I'm cackling because um let me just insert let me insert some tweets. Yeah. Oh my god! I thought this was a classy party. Loki, he was annoying and he was always on Alex's dick. Like, let the bitch breathe. Why don't you take my punishment and duplicate it? You're grounded for one week. Does that mean two weeks? Oh, now it's four. I love this game! You think it's so fucking funny, huh? <laughs> funny, funny. Let her give us some space. She's just a girl. But. Uh, at the same time, I kind of understand. Is that a bit mad? I understand, I do. I mean, low-key, I do. Yeah, I do, guys, I'm sorry. I put my hands up, I do, I understand. Like, this man sacrificed his magic and his powers for his family, for the love of his life and his children. Who doesn't love a supporting father? He was always there for them. Guys, no, yeah. Yeah, I understand. I mean, like, how can I not stand beside our thick Italian king? <laughs> I just didn't have a choice. He's like a cute, cuddly teddy bear. <laughs> There's a pizza bar? Don't get distracted by the pizza! That's part of our plan! Oh, but pizza is the second most distracting food after ice cream! <laughs> I wonder if they have ice cream on board. Dipping into the Lizzie McGuire world, we have um, Liz's father, Sam McGuire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real. If this is all you, yeah, you need to go ahead and log out for me. I, I can potentially see the nerdy professor fantasy. I can kind of see it, but then I looked at some clips and I saw some pictures and I was like, yeah, no, he's not cooking. He's not cooking nothing. You know, I'm just checking it with you. Checking what? Cleo. I want to say I understand so badly. But I need you to look out for me and address your daddy issues. Look in the mirror and say, today's the day we start working on them. Because, yeah, he wasn't cooking with nothing. He was not cooking at all. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh! Told you prime time Pete Rooney would find his rhythm. Ring the alarm bells, because I'm on fire! So next we have Pete Rooney from Liv and Maddie. Now you guys know what I'm gonna say. And even if you don't know, you know what I'm gonna say. I hope you like prison food. Officer! Get your ass behind bars now. Straight to jail. Don't pass go. Take your ass right there. I don't even say much else, just saying it. Yeah. No. Low key though, 
With him and the gray beard? Hmm. We might have to let him cook. It's, it's above me now. We just might. Dad, actually, can we talk about something? Talk about? Or compliment? <laughs> please, please just hear me out, please. This one is a bit of a tricky one because we didn't really get um, a lot of content from him. From what I remember anyways. And I don't recall him having that big of a role in the TV show. I don't even, I just, I didn't even know his name. I had to look it up. Um, but we have that from Jonas. From what I remember and the clips I'm seeing, he's really chill. And he's kind of cute. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know. He's got little sign signs. So I'm gonna let him cook. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a minute to cook. I see I see potential. Yeah. I mean he, he left his kids to he left his, his three underage children to go to LA. So he's living it up. You know, he can hit me. <laughs> he can hit me up when the kids are gone. I mean, I I let him cook. We'll see what I'm going. <laughs> Side note though, is it just me or was a Jonas TV show like really, really bad? It just like they didn't care. The Jonas LA was definitely better, but I don't know, it was just rewatching it now I'm like, what what? Everything just felt off like it wasn't working. I don't know man. I don't know. There's my Casey, my pride and joy. <laughs> then we have the dad from Casey Undercover. Um I think his name is Craig Cooper. Again, this show came out when I was aging out of Disney Channel, so I don't really remember much of the show. But from what I remember, he was like, it's, and it's kind of cute and funny. I let him cook. Yeah. Not much, nothing less to be said. Just, yeah. Give him a pot in the corner and let's see what he comes up with, you know? Oh, Perry the Platypus. Quick, quick, could you hand me that staple gun right over there? Thank you. Ha. <sighs> So what do you think? It's for my daughter Vanessa's birthday. I try to throw her a party every year. I know we usually go about our daily battle of good versus evil, but instead, could you maybe help me set up the party for my little girl, please? Now, like I said earlier, this is a safe space and a no judgment zone. Um, so keep that in mind with this next one. <laughs> but we have, <laughs> we have Dr. Doofish Marsh. How do you say his name again, Dr. Doofish? I I think we should let him cook. I put my hands together and I say, let's let him cook. You know, we understand his backstory. He has, the reason he's so quote unquote evil. He had a terrible childhood. It all began on the day of my actual birth. Both of my parents failed to show up. But he genuinely loves his daughter and he goes to great lengths to make her happy. Like he'll take care of you. He will just, he will burn the whole world down to see you smile. And I'm here for it. Yeah, I'm gonna let him cook. I'm gonna I'm let him cook. It's kind of, it's kind of cute. Can I say that out loud? <laughs> Remember guys, say space, say space, don't judge me. But yeah, we're letting him cook with that one. Hey sweetheart, how'd you like to take a ride in a real bike? She's 16! On kids, it's not like Stan understands what we're saying. You don't speak human, do you? You speak dog. Woof, woof. Please, Ellen, that's just gibberish. I don't know whether there's someone at the door or you're hungry or what. Then we have the dad from one of the worst shows that Disney Channel has ever come up with. I honestly don't know how it went from development to our screens. Uh, there were so many people that had to say yes to this show and they kept saying yes. That's crazy. That's, that blows my mind. How did this show make it to, to air? I will never understand. But we have Bennett James, the dad from Dog With A Blog. And just because I hate this show and think it's so stupid, I'm sending you to jail. I'm sending him to jail. And I'm sending producers to jail. Everybody's going to jail. I hope you like prison food. Officer! Behind bars immediately. Dog with a blog. Come on now. I mean, look at this shit. Why are you working for Tyler? He's paying me to do things he doesn't have time for. Oh, like trim his nose hairs, I hope? It's like a mop dangling from a gutter spout. It doesn't make sense. Like, Chelsea, come on now. Then we have the dad from Phil of the Future, Lloyd Diffie. I want to let him cook. I really do, because I think, I don't know, he's, he's kind of cute. <laughs> I want to let him cook, but I feel like he, would, he wasn't cooking with much. 
from what I remember of the show and what I'm seeing now, like, yeah, he wasn't cooking with much. So, as much as I want to let him cook, I don't think I can. I'm going to need anyone who had a thing for him to go ahead and log out for me. Yeah. I mean, not in a mean way. You can take your time logging out. But, yeah, you still need to log out for me. I'm sorry. He wasn't it. And last but not least, we have Morgan Ross from Jesse. The dad from Jesse, because I'm sure he wasn't in it enough for you guys to even know his name. Definitely not for me to know his name. I'll keep it. I'll keep it real, guys. He may not have been much of a father, but I'm a lame cook. He was a famous movie director, and he said, fuck them kids. And sometimes I hear it. Five kids. Yo, he needs to live his life. And I don't blame him. You can't let your kids get in the way of you living your life, and that's fair enough. So I'm letting him cook. And he's low kind of cute. I don't know. He's got that, like, he's giving very much Delph. Yeah, he's giving very much Delph. I wouldn't necessarily cook and clean, because he's not the best father. But we have a good time. He'd show me a good time, you know? I'd say I understand, but his wife is right there in the same shot. So, you know, got to keep it respectful. Okay, guys. <laughs> that is me. Um, look at my finished complete chart. Um, you can tell me in the comments which dad you think I missed up, which one I, I should have included. But let me know what you think. I think this is a pretty decent honest list. I think for some, I may, I may have been a bit too generous. But I'm proud of my list, yeah. As I mentioned before, we have been making spectacular progress, guys. The amount of subscribers that I've gained in the last week has been mind-blowing and I really appreciate it. So, yeah, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed but you enjoy my content, please do. Um, trying to get to that thousand, I'm so excited now. Like, I don't know, I see the growth every day and I'm like, yeah, we can do this, we can do this, we can fucking do it. Let's fucking have it. So yeah, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, again, in the comments, let me know what you think. If you agree, if you disagree. Um, what else would you like to see from me? I'm very much a people pleaser, so <laughs> you tell me what you want and I'll... If I, if I want to, I will, basically. Um, but yeah, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to share. And again, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. This has been fun. Bye!